for Langley Aldergrove. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm here to talk about uh, public transit in Metro Vancouver. It's a follow-up uh, to a question I had asked a couple of weeks ago, and I don't think I got an adequate answer. So, uh, but a bit of background. Uh, Metro Vancouver is located in the lower mainland area of British Columbia, uh, which is a relatively small piece of real estate compared to the province, compared to the country, but it's huge when it comes to uh, strategic importance. Uh, Vancouver is uh, Canada's front door to the Pacific Rim and our gateway to global trade in that part of the world. Uh, but it's also a very complex piece of real estate. It's bound to the north and the east by mountains, to the south by the U.S. border, and to the west by the sea, so there is nowhere to go. Uh, there is some spare land, but it's uh, protected by the Agricultural Land Reserve, and there is a strong uh, community consensus uh, in the Lower Mainland that that is untouchable. So take it from me, there is nowhere to go except up. And we do that very well. Any uh, new real estate development uh, in that area uh, has a, as a first step to take down what's already there and then to rebuild to much higher density, whether it's, uh, whether it's residential or commercial or industrial. So that's the way um, Vancouver operates. Now, on top of all that complexity, uh, Two and a half million people live in that area, and every year we add about 50,000 people. So think of that, right? A small uh, uh, population of a small town dropped right into the middle of all that complexity. The only way that development works and that is as sustainable is that we have a great public transit system. Uh, SkyTrain, uh, contrary to other uh, transit systems in, the, in uh, North America, has an ever-increasing transit ridership, and that's because the focus on transit-oriented development. So that brings me to my ask, and that is for a federal funding commitment to extend the SkyTrain from the eastern end of it, which is in downtown Surrey, to bring it all the way to downtown Langley. There's federal and provincial and municipal funding commitments to build the first phase of that, to the Fleetwood area of Surrey, but we're looking for another $550 million from the federal government to extend it all the way into, into Langley. I want to talk also about the housing affordability crisis in our area. Uh, even in this year of COVID, prices have been going steadily up, about 9 or 10% price increases in my area. So uh, rather than trying to reduce demand, which goes completely contrary to what we're trying to do, I would say let's increase the supply of housing. A great way to do that is to extend SkyTrain into Langley and urge uh, the provincial and the municipal governments to continue developing in that area. Thousands, tens of, hundreds of thousands of people in this area now live an elevator ride and about 400 steps from the nearest SkyTrain station. If you fly into Vancouver on a clear day, you can see exactly where the SkyTrain route is from the cluster of high rises that spring up in close proximity to SkyTrain stations. So that's what we're looking for, uh, Mr. Speaker. We're looking for a commitment of $550 million to complete the project all the way to Langley City. I was talking to Mike Buda, who is the uh, executive director of the uh, Mayor's Council on Regional, Regional uh, Transportation, and, uh, and he said that it would be imprudent for us to put the shovels down at the end of phase one. We need to continue with, uh, right into phase two. Uh, there's economies of scale. Uh, there'll be savings to be able to do that. And Mr. Speaker, it is required. We're looking for a federal funding commitment, $550 million. Thank you.